Um, and this gives Lita a much better matchup against Light. So even though they went down 2 nothing, which is definitely not what they wanted, they were hoping that either Yark or Type B could at least get one win. I think they, I think uh, Lita should have a really good, um, a really good chance against this because he's going to have a tough time against C no matter what, just because C is really good and he's really on a hot streak. Um, but in this matchup, he, you know, he statistically dominates Light. You know, uh, over the. Over his entire career, Elite is at 60%, while Light is at 53%. If you're looking at um, Terran versus Terran, Lita is, is at 66%, and Light is only at 52%. So, you know, just because you, just by giving Lita this matchup, you're giving your whole team much more of a shot, is, is I guess what uh, I'm trying to say. So. <laughs> So far, um, the coaching decisions have been, I, this coaching decision has been pretty good. Um, some of the ones in the past, I have not agreed with it quite as much, but um, it looks like they are playing strong and at least, uh, you know, putting up the best lineup that they can possibly put up and hopefully against the best opponents. Um, nice vulture drop coming in here from Light and uh, once again being very aggressive and he's getting at least three or four uh, SEV kills so far. Only one vulture in defense and he is going to be able to wipe out those vultures, but not after losing maybe five. Oh, wow, that one vulture has five kills of his own, so... Um, at least five SCVs dying, maybe six or seven, and a uh, pretty nice drop there by uh, by Light to sort of gain a little bit of a regain that economic edge that he had lost by putting his command center down a little bit later. Um, at this point, I think that is somewhat moot, and uh, both players are a little bit evened out. It looks like Lita might be able to um, take out that floating barracks. It is burning to the ground, and it is gone. And uh, so Light, at least now, in a slight production disadvantage because he's going to have to wait to build any more um, any more factories. And I don't think he has as many factories as Lita. Yeah, we've got Lita with five factories there, at least. Maybe that was six. Uh, I, my counting skills aren't great. I don't know. <laughs> um, and at the same time, you know, Light has to rebuild his barracks if he wants more um, factories. Plus, he is spending some money to put on a command center right now. So... Uh, it, right now, Elite might be able to have a chance to um, sort of out macro light just off of these two bases. It's going to be pretty hard to. Um, I mean, obviously, he can't be pumping all tanks from all of those factories from just two bases, but um, he, he should be able to get a pretty good uh, amount of tanks along with some vultures and maybe some of those Goliaths if he decides to stick with them. It looks, it does look now, however, that he is going to be going more into vultures. Although I hope he keeps um, uh, some Goliaths along, along hand, just because there is that dropship in play. Uh, Light definitely has the potential to drop some Goliath bombs on any siege tanks. Um, and he is now just floating that command center to um, take his third base in that southern position. And Lita is well aware of it on account of having a vulture and uh, a spider mine that Light had to clear out before that. So he knows that this base is coming up. And he has a slight production advantage right now. So uh, we're going to have to see if he can um, you know, use that extra knowledge and that extra... Uh, army, although it looks like those factories aren't producing right now, if he can use that to um, take out this new expansion that Light is just setting down. He, uh, Lita is, however, um, setting up his own natural expansion, and uh, he will. Uh, he, it looks like he's just going to be able to set that up in his own position, but he does have a little bit of map control setting up. He has um, you know, tanks all over the middle of the map, and... Uh, He's going to be able to sort of control the flow of the game a little bit for now, so I think this is moving into the part of TBTs where <laughs> that I hate the most, where, you know, the initial aggression and the timing where, you know, a couple of vultures are going to make a huge difference has somewhat passed, and uh, both players are just going to be setting up siege lines and trying to slowly inch their way across the map, if at all. They might just be waiting to set up their own bases. It looks like Lita's base has um, has been planted, and uh, uh, SCVs have been transferred over there for both players. So both players up at three bases now. Um, and once again, evening out economically, um, I'm sure that Light has reproduced his barracks and has probably dropped down one or two more factories um, on account of having a little bit of extra money, but 
We're just going to have to wait. And, uh, you know, the other thing that I think was kind of interesting by both of these players is that they just decided to take it their, um, I guess, the sort of standard third expansion. Um, this, this map has... You know, the main base, the natural expansion, and then sort of a third expansion either around the bridge or along this little path up the bridge up on this little hill. And both of them took one of those, and rather than taking another starting position, I guess is the other option that I was thinking of, just because I think those, um, those bridges are really defensible, like I've been saying. So if you... If you're able to take one of those um, spawn position bases, it should be fairly easy to defend with, um, you know, five or six tanks there, which they should be able to spare for at least a little while. And and if you do that, then you're able to get two bases from that. So I think that might have been an interesting decision, but nevertheless, both players going for that sort of standard, um, just hanging out there, face. And what is this? Light is going for the, uh, the I call it the Andromeda style expansion right in the middle of the map, the the sort of double expansion with two gas and uh, you know I don't know like twelve mineral patches, and two sets of six. I think is what it is. Um, <laughs> I, it's really funny because you, you look on the minimap, maybe that's all just uh, spider mines sitting out there, but it looks like there's purple all around that. Like, there's no way that uh, Lita couldn't see some of that going in there. Uh, but <laughs> uh, I'm really surprised that Light's actually trying to take that, and um, if I guess if Lita doesn't see it and he's able to see it, take it for a little while, but no, there we go. Lita finally um, recognizes what's going on, and he's going to wipe out everything there. Four tanks going down very quickly, that uh, <laughs> that command center having to be cancelled um, immediately. And uh, that's really funny. Light just lost a pretty big investment um, just from trying to take this super aggressive base. Um, I have no idea why he went to do that. Especially, it looks like he was building a lot of dropships in the process, so uh, maybe he was thinking, oh, I'll set that up and maybe it'll mine for a second, and then when Lita moves his forces down, I could just use all these dropships uh, as a counterattack. But um, maybe his, maybe just his dropship force wasn't ready yet uh, once Lita found out, but Lita was able to to uh, conquer that with very minimal losses. I think he might have lost one vulture or something like that, but uh, four tanks and uh, a cancelled command center, which is slightly better than just losing a command center, I suppose, but that's still, um, I guess, uh, 300 minerals out of the bank. Anyways, uh, finally, Light is setting up um, with... Ooh, and he goes in to drop on this uh, area that Lita has positioned, and he actually lost a good number of units. Oh, he takes another uh, spider mine hit, and so he's got some heavily damaged tanks, but... Uh, that is uh, going to be rough, and it's going to. We're going to see. Lead is actually trying to come in here and take out this force, but he's having a little bit of trouble with his vultures. They're uh, kind of glitching out on those um, on those ramps and not being able to squeeze through. But Lita has a much bigger force right there, and a lot of those forces were um, injured in those uh, spider mine with those spider mines. So uh, nice little play there by Lita, and he actually has been able to take an economic lead. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but he has taken that base over in the 11 o'clock position in the north, and that is the uh, you know the mirrored sort of thing. That's what uh, Light is setting up to take right here with that dropship force. But um, Lita has a very sizable, uh, a very sizable tank force right outside of there. It looks like Light is going to actually take one of those, um, uh, one of those na uh, starting positions. I was going to say natural expansion. One of those starting positions over in the southeast. Um, Lita is preparing to do the same up in the northwest, and uh, but Lita at the moment still has a one base lead. It looks like uh, Light is going to try to break that, break down that huge group of tanks that is over there, um, denying this uh, nine o'clock base. Um, but you know, I, it, it's still it's going to be pretty hard because that's a lot of tanks down there. Even with the high ground advantage that Light has, um, just three tanks is going to be rough. Although it looks like he is grouping together a good number of um, dropships. I don't know if he's going to take those to drop Goliath bombs on those tanks or if he is going to back up. Yeah, he's just bringing in for reinforcements. Um, so uh, Light putting in a lot of effort to take this... Um, take this extra base. Meanwhile, 